the royal family ain't nothing but another white trash trailer park family now hear me out all right every trailer park has a mama t and mama t don't do shit except sit around and smoke misty menthol 120s and watch the prices ride all day but for some reason everybody always comes to mama t with their problems even though she ain't gonna do a damn thing about it then you got mama t's favorite grandbabies colton and connor now, if you ask Mama T, Colton and Connor can't do no wrong. They both good boys, joined the army straight out of high school, but they joined for different reasons. Colton wanted to bring honor to his family, and Connor just wanted to get the hell out of the trailer park. And before Connor could get out the trailer park, he met his old lady, Stacy. Now, shortly after Connor and Stacy got married, Connor managed to get out of the trailer park, and the rest of his family absolutely hates Stacy for it because they're certain that she had something to do with it. Then you got Colton's wife, Jenny, or Jenny Lynn, who despite being the favorite daughter-in-law of the family, they still really don't like her. They're just nice to her because she's the one that's around the most often. Then there's Colton and Connor's parents, Roy and Allison. Roy and Allison pretend to be a happy couple with the perfect marriage. But everybody knows that Roy is actually screwing around on Allison with Linda, what lives two trailers down. Until one day Roy gets tired of the charade and he goes and asks Mama T for help and they come up with a plan to cut Allison's brake line so that Roy is free to marry the home wrecker. We can't forget Uncle Andy now. Every white trash trailer park family has that weird, creepy uncle that makes everybody just a little bit uncomfortable but nobody quite understands why until one day he's accused of some shady shit. Alright, so I done told y'all about Mama T. And we talked about Colton and Connor and their wives, Jenny Lynn and Stacy. We covered Roy and Allison's love triangle with that homewrecker, Linda, what lives two trailers down. We even talked about creepy old Uncle Andy. Now let me tell y'all about Roy and Andy's sister, Shirley. Now from a young age, Shirley was a horse girl. There wasn't nothing in the world that she loved more than her horses. And she didn't just like horseback riding, she was good at it too. She is a state champion barrel racer and competed in barrel racing tournaments all around the country. In fact, she loved horses so damn much that it wasn't a surprise to nobody when she met her first husband, Scooter, at a barrel racing competition. Now, it wasn't long after Shirley and Scooter got married that they started having marital problems. They never went out anywhere together or did anything together. In fact, they tried to avoid each other completely, if at all possible. At the end of their marriage, they were both having affairs with other people and ultimately just decided to go ahead and get a divorce. Now, after Shirley and Scooter got a divorce, she went public with her relationship with Jimbo. Now, Shirley was just absolutely smitten with Jimbo. She was over the moon and couldn't wait to get married. Until one day she came home and she caught Jimbo in bed with, yeah, you guessed it. Yeah, that homewrecker Linda, what lives two trailers down from Roy and Allison, and what lives five trailers down from Jimbo and Shirley. Now, Shirley's a proud woman, so she left that no good rat bastard Jimbo and threw him out on the street like the butt of a Misty Menthol 120. Now from that point on, Shirley and Linda's beef was on sight. Shirley wasn't afraid to drop everything and just run them hands. Now this went on for a while until Shirley met her current husband, Skeeter, coincidentally also at a barrel racing competition. Around that same time, Shirley's brother, Roy, ended up marrying that no good homewrecker, Linda, what now lives in the trailer with Roy after he done crawled up under Allison's car with a pair of tin snips. And now since her brother's done married that no good bitch that she's got beef with, Mama T told her she has to at least try to be nice. And still to this day, Shirley can't stand that no good home wrecking hoe Linda. But Mama T told her if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. So Shirley can't bring herself to say nothing more to Linda than bless your heart. You know something else I wanted to touch on? When Harry said... I am my mother's son, fundamentally correct, fundamentally. That's the post, nothing else to say. He is the son of Diana, Princess of Wales. In a vast amount of ways. And William is Charles's son, completely. Look at this. 
That's Diana. Diana is still with us through him. That is her legacy, completely. She, lay, she led with the heart, he led with the heart. She tried to protect her boys, he's trying to protect his family. She was calling out the bullshit, he calling out the bullshit. Labeled a non-starter, labeled a rebel. High approval rating, high approval rating before all this BS. His approval rating was second behind the queen. He was always higher than Prince Charles, well, King Charles III now, and Prince William, the Prince of Wales. Y'all see what's going on? It's history. It's the eradication of Diana. And who do I think is behind it? The coronation is next year. Harry and Meghan's documentary has been out for exactly one day, and we've already got our indication from the British media that nothing is ever going to change. These are the headlines from the tabloids today, Friday. I kind of get the sense that these headlines were written before anybody actually watched the documentary. <laughs> because if you were just going by these headlines alone, like you hadn't watched it, you had walked past a newsstand, and you saw royals deeply upset by Harry's slurs, palace anger at assault on the queen's legacy. Like, you could read these headlines and be like, oh, Harry and Meghan, they've done it again. They're so disrespectful. When the actual documentary, funny story, I live streamed me watching the three parts of the series yesterday, and a lot of royalists who hopped into my live stream made it very clear that they found the entire thing boring. There were no major bombshells. Like, I'm not going to spoil it for you if you haven't watched it yet, but there were no bombs being dropped. This was an inside look at Harry and Meghan's perspective on their love story and their time in the royal family. It was not an assault on the Queen's legacy. Like, point blank, unless there were two versions of this documentary released and the British media saw one that I didn't see, this did not happen. The one thing, as best as I can tell, that people are painting as them disrespecting the Queen was Meghan poking fun at the way she curtsied when she first met the Queen. But if you watched this moment and saw it as anything other than a self-deprecating joke on Meghan's part, then I don't know what to tell you. You were always gonna have a problem with her no matter what she did in this documentary if you found this curtsy moment to be a problem. I thought it was very clear she was making fun of herself and her own expectations of the royal family and of the traditions not making fun of the queen. But then again, I'm not a xenophobic British person, so maybe that one's on me. Maybe that's my bad. If anything, the docuseries so far, remember we've only seen three episodes out of six. If anything, it hits out at the tabloid media, <laughs> the very people writing these headlines. The British tabloids are desperate not to become an active player in the conversation about Harry and Meghan and about their experience. So it's absolutely not surprising that the angle they are taking is that they're disrespecting the monarchy or want to bring it down. I completely understand that it is hard to sit and watch as an institution that you hold near and dear to your heart comes under fire for outdated practices and for the way that it chews people, especially women, up and then spits them out. But like, I need the British tabloid press to be fucking for real for one day and I don't think they can do that. 